Right, welcome back to another week of Wordles. Um, yeah, we're just going to get straight into this. And we're going with the word board this week. B-O-A-R-D. Okay, great start. Um, let's try and get an E in there at some point. Like, like to get at the end. In fact, you know what? We'll go for the word shake. Um, so we're getting the SH in there. We're getting, obviously, the A in this position. The K in an E. Oh. Wow. Okay. It's an unbelievable start. So it's got to end in something like a P then, hasn't it? Like sharp, but obviously... The R's already used. Hmm. I suppose it could end in a Y. Like shake, not shaky. Shaft. Ah, oh, I don't know where I've just got that from. I don't know where about my brain that came from, but surely. Oh my god. Wow. That has really surprised me. I'm gonna have to burn a word. I can't I cannot believe that I'm gonna have to burn a word. It's probably staring me right in the face. We're going to try and get five letters in here that we've not used. S H A blank L shawl. Please be right. Oh, thank God for that. Wow. To be honest, I'm surprised I didn't get that earlier. There wasn't many letters it could have been. But anyway, we got there. And, you know, on to Tuesdays. Three, two, one. Tuesday's Wordle has just landed. Ah, right. Not a great start. Um, we're going to go with stone. We like using that. Let's get the E in there. ST, quite popular letters. Uh, in fact, you know what? No, we're not, because we've already used the O. So we're going to use... We've got an A somewhere else. It's likely maybe there, then. Do you know what? Satin springs straight to mind once I put that A in. So we're using, obviously, the A in a different position of four new letters. Brilliant. And the N isn't there. So what are we going to say? It's Nat, maybe? There's nothing that springs to mind if it starts with an N. Nothing springs to mind there. I tell you, I've got, I've got the C and H available. It's natural word. Oh, no, but... Oh, okay. I really don't know, so I'm going to do what I've done for yesterday's middle. We had a great start yesterday as well. And then we lost track in the sense of we just couldn't work out the last few letters. And then it was like, oh my god, how did I not think of that? So we're going to try and just burn a word now and try and get an E in there, I think. Let me just double check before I do that. Nothing springs to mind there. So let's get a word with an E. Maybe a U as well. And try and get a few more letters in there. I also want to get a Y in here as well. Natty's not a word, is it? In fact, let me burn a word before I use natty. In fact, no, I'm going to put it in natty. Uh, well, we can try plume. P-L-U-M-E. Oh, there's no E. N-A-T. L. Well, is natal a word? Oh no, natal is natal isn't a word, but natal is a word. It's got to be right. We know there's an L. It's got to be. It's got to be this. It's got to be. I tell you what, that was a hard, hard wordle. Again, though, same as yesterday, straight off the bat, nailing three. You know, near enough. The majority of the word and then just struggling to find the last two letters anyway. Tuesday's wordle is over. On to Wednesday's wordle. Three, two, 
one. Let's get Wednesday's Wordle out the way. We'll start with obviously our word aboard this week. Um, not a bad start. We've definitely got both vowels in this. I don't think there's going to be any more, although it could be wrong. Um, I'm thinking it's something like that. I'm also like convinced the second to last letter is an A here. It's not going to start with an A. We know it's not in the middle, and the likeliness of ending an A is a very unlikely. So it's 100% in my opinion that, unless it's a crazy word we haven't heard of. Now, as I say, it could end in an N, it could end in an L. Potentially could end in some other letters, but those two are springing straight to mind. It's Topal a word? No, sorry, Topaz. It's not a bad shout. We're using the T, we're using the A in a different position. We've got the O in its right position. We're using the P and a Z. I know that's a bit of a waste, but at least we'll definitely know if the A is in the right position. No? Ooh, okay. It's got to end in an A then. Could it be like a what? No, a or no? It's got to end in an A. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Now, the, do you know what? The only word that springs to mind if it, if you know is polka. I know we'd be bearing in the P, but we'd definitely be getting the A's position, and we haven't used the L and the K. Okay, right. But I do think it's going to be three consonants. I don't think there's going to be another. Or oh, could it be? Could it be an I A at the end? Could it be E A at the end? Oh God! I'm, I'm going to have to take this opportunity to get five letters in here that I haven't got because we need another letter. Otherwise, we're going to be going into the last two um, guesses, the two letters. So let's try and get a word in here with an E or an I. We'll go for hinge. Hinge actually gives us both the H, the N, the G, the I, and the E. It's probably a, it's a good value. It'll give us hopefully another letter. Oh my God. We are screwed. I think we burn one more and get rid of letters. And then try and work it out on the last go. It's the only, it's the only thing that I can think of doing. Do you know what? We could use focus. Again, an F, a C, a U, and an S in there. I can't think of anything else. I've just got to go for it. So we know there's a C. So it could be C, O, blank, blank, A. No, no S. Do you know what? I didn't even get onto it. There's no S. Comma. C O double M A. That springs to mind straight away. That's the only thing I can think of. Let me look at the letters left. Oh, it, but it, might, it might not begin with a C. If it didn't begin with a C, blank. O. Blank. Sorry, yeah, blank C. So it'd have to be that. Sat. And nothing ends in sat, does it? It's going to be C O blank blank A. <clears throat> and the only letters that I think that we've got left that I can use is the M. And the rest is just like Q, W, Y, J, X, V. I'm going to go for comma because there's nothing else I can think of. And as soon as I put in the C at the beginning, that's the first thing that came to mind. If C isn't at the beginning, I'd never have got this word because I could. I cannot think of a five-letter word with C and A at the beginning. So the more I'm speaking, the more I'm confident that this is the word. I think that is going to be the most intense wordle. I've ever done. Oh my god. I was thinking mama as well. If I had to put that in, I'd have been flying, but I didn't think a word of three M's in it. But no comma. We got there in the end. Yeah, Wednesday's wordle. It's a bit of a um 
an early pace set there by Wordle. Usually it comes, you know, maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday gets hard, but that was hard. I found it hard anyway. Let me know if you, how quickly you got that in the comments down below. But yeah, we got there in the end. The process of elimination, the C from focus was clutch. So we were lucky with that. Um, but yeah, on to Thursdays. Wordle, let's hope tomorrow's is a lot easier than today's. Three, two, one. The dedication is unreal. Let's get Thursday's Wordle out the way, right aboard. Oh, great start after yesterday's antics, which absolutely took me to the wire. I'm so excited to see that. Um, so, in fact, there's an A in it. I reckon the A is going to go where the R is, which kind of rules out the R being at the end. So I'm going to say it's R O blank A blank, maybe? Roman springs straight to mind. Uh, let's just go for Roman. Don't think we're going to get much better than that. We've obviously got the O in the right place. We've got the R in a different place. We've got the A in a different place. And we're using an M and an N. Okay, so we found the slot for the A straight away. Now, seeing the reason it took me time there is I'm thinking solar. So this will give me an S. It'll give me an L. The a O and A are in the right position, and it gives me a new slot for the R. As again, I'm not going to get much better than that. If the R is not at the end, it's definitely in the middle. Okay, so it's a blank. O R A blank. Now you know we're not struggling here. There's no, you know, we're not we're not doing this because I'm struggling. But I'm gonna burn a word just to get the likes of a T, a Y, and you know just more consonants involved. Burn burn a word for this one. Hopefully we get one or two letters for the second. So let's maybe go for something like. And I'm gonna try and get a T, a H in here, and maybe. A Y. So if we go with something like T H thick. T H I C and a K gives you five new letters. This is where I'm starting to worry now. Um We've got to get another word with a P, a U, and a Y in here somewhere. It's puggy a word, it is. Oh, oh my God! Blank. Oh, oh, a y. Is it hooray? No, because there's no h. Um, no q. It's not w. It's not e. It's not r. It's not y. It's not another o. F. J. Z. X V None of them letters go in that word. Right, we're just gonna have to go through it because I don't think any of them are word, so I don't think any of them are a word. The one that isn't, the one that the one that is is gonna be the right answer. The others are just gonna give me the shaky screen. Can't believe after the start it's resulted to this again. Wordle's been a bit weird. It's been a bit disjointed. Um over the last few weeks, I'm not gonna lie. So, quarry? No. Quarry? No. Um, it's not. It's not E. I right, would try f, f for A. I don't even know what that word means. For A, a sudden attack or incursion into enemy territory, especially to obtain something, a raid. The garrison made a foray against Richard's camp. I have no idea what that means. And, you know, that's the reason why we've struggled with this. Nobody's in the last 20 years has used that word in any sense. Anyway, but we move on to Friday's Wordle. Right, a Friday's Wordle has not long come out. Let's hope we can get a nice easy one today. Oh, oh, what a 
start. Um, thinking something like that straight away. Just because I think another Val may be in it. Heart? Should we try heart? Let's see. No, but there's an E in it. Brilliant. It's not going to start with an A, so it's going to be blank, blank, A, R, E. Share. Uh, well, no, not, not, not share. Uh, but it's going to definitely going to be a double barreled consonants to start. Um, scare. That's how I think it's always going to work out in my head. I always think I'm just going to go right, 10 seconds, boom, get it done. Absolutely made up. Friday's Wordle. Make this video a little bit shorter with quick Wordles like that, so on to Saturdays. Right, Saturdays Wordle. Let's get it done. Let's hope we get some success like we did yesterday. Okay, um, just where that A's position, I'm just gonna go that, Drake, maybe, um, Crane, um, do you want Crane's a good one, let's go with Crane, so we're using a C, an N and an E, we're also using the R in this position, we know where the A is, Oh, okay. So it begins with an R then, maybe. A, E, blank, blank. It could still end in an R, of course. But I don't think there's many words that end in A, blank, R. Look off the top of my head, I can't think. U, could be I, it could be like flare. Should we try flare? Like that. So we're getting an F and L in there, we're using the A in the right position. We're seeing there's an I in there, and we're also using the R in a different position. We'll know from this that the R will be at the beginning. If it's not at the end, it is at the end. And that is an I. That's a massive, massive word. That's given us a lot of value. Now just two chair. No, not chair. But it's going to be two. Yeah, it's got to be a two consonants we haven't used so like a ch but a th th no um th no th th no is that a word s t oh stare oh my god is it stare oh hang on already typed it in is it stare for the win fantastic great stuff takes our streak on to 14 technically 43 because obviously can't count the first one that we've done. So secondly is a 43 streak, but obviously we know uh, from a few videos how my thing got reset. But yeah, so great start with the A. Narrowed down where that R was. Flare was a big, big word. Because um, obviously we knew at this point there was no E there. So we just went with another another vowel. And yeah, stir. Brilliant. One more wordle for the week. And then we are done. We're going to choose a new word tomorrow as well for next week's week of Wordles. But yeah, one more to go. I've got to wait 24 hours, but you're going to see it right now. Right. It is midnight exactly. Sunday's Wordle has come out. So we're going to get that done um, as quickly as possible. We've been quite lucky. I'd say lucky this week. We've had a few easy ones, a few tough ones. What a start straight away, I think, beach. Oh my god. Um black? Is it really that simple today? It's been out for just over a minute, this wordle. I wasn't actually Expecting that to be over so quick, uh, so quick, but that's got to be the quickest word I've ever done, in all fairness. Um, anyway, I suppose that is it for today's video then. As I say, I wasn't expecting that to be so quick, um, but let's just quickly pick a word for next week's wordles.
Right after a little bit of deliberation, we're going to use word faith next week. So F A I T H. Uh, we're going to use that for every Wordle for the entire week. But yeah, if you did like today's video, and obviously you do appreciate this and you've watched it to the end, please hit the like button, let me know, subscribe for more of this Wordle content. But yeah, that's the video.